If there's one guy who can replace Matt Damon in the Bourne movies, it's the dude who's taking on those big flying bastards with a bow and arrow in the Avengers. The Bourne Legacy. The Bourne Legacy is another Bourne movie without Jason Bourne. Jeremy Renner plays Aaron Cross, who is another soldier who was in the same program that Jason Bourne was in. You know, the whole, yeah, we're super soldiers and we're badasses program? Yeah, that's the program. And now the dirty secrets of the company are coming out, so it's like, hey, let's just cut the program and distance ourselves from all this. Cut the program means wipe out everyone who's involved for people who don't speak spy movie. And so they do that, but Hawkeye is a survivor. And so now super soldier Jeremy Renner comes back, he gets Rachel Weisz, and so we're like, like, hey, we have a fourth Bourne movie, I guess. This movie is called The Bourne Legacy, so you expect to see the things that you loved from the Bourne movies in it. But you really don't get any of that. They shoehorn these Jason Bourne moments in this movie when they can. You know, the news is like, oh, this just in, Jason Bourne's in Manhattan, just so the audience knows this is still a Bourne movie. But at its core, it lacked the things that I liked about the Bourne movies. I don't need this to be a mindless action movie. Among all the action in the Bourne movies, there was still a character we cared about. Fighting for a cause that we liked, and they had some really cool close quarters combat CQC action, necks are breaking, it was great. This had a couple of those moments, but in the end you're like, this feels like a great B. Jason Bourne movie. This is what the movie felt like as a whole. For most of this movie, Jeremy Renner and Rachel Weisz are going and doing their thing. They're following them, they're trying to catch up to them, they're trying to find out where they went, they're using cameras and satellites, and I was like, holy shit, this feels like a great B enemy of the state. And a couple of fight scenes later, two hours into the movie, the action kicks on, and you're like, too little too late, it now feels like a great B version of a Bourne movie. I mean, Jeremy Renner was great in this movie. Rachel Weisz was great in this movie. If there is a person I would put in a Bourne movie without Jason Bourne, it would be Jeremy Renner. The dude's a badass. He's a good actor. He could completely kick the shit out of anyone. I'd like to see them fight. Jason Bourne and Aaron Cross just going at it. That would be really cool. But as a whole, this movie feels like a forced sequel to a trilogy that it's springboarding off of that it's not as good as. Oh, and then the movie just cuts off. It's like, oh, chasing, intense, done. Well, I guess that's the end. I mean, I imagine it had to end, but it's... Hmm. I feel like if it wasn't a Bourne movie and it was just a spy movie, I would almost be kind of lenient on it. I wouldn't be comparing it to the Bourne movies and I'd be like, oh, okay, you know, it's just a generic spy movie. Paradox is, I'd be like, oh, well, we've seen movies like this before. It feels like a grade B enemy of the state and a grade B Jason Bourne movie. It had a few really cool moments, but it's a two and a half hour long movie that's really not that interesting. Ultimately, Aaron Cross's mission, he's like, I need to go to Thailand and get a pill. That's what they're doing. That's the entire movie. I imagine the sequel could be cool if it has Jason Bourne in it, but at that point, I feel like he would overshadow Jeremy Renner, so I don't even know if they're gonna do that. We'll see, though. Time will tell. I will say The Bourne Legacy, given that it has a few cool scenes, is alright, but you're not gonna remember it in T-minus a couple days. Yep, already forgot. It's a bummer. I wanted to love the movie, but I just didn't. Alright, so The Bourne movies, including this one. We have all four now. What's your favorite? Comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.